time. Uh, was so, that was that so Tracy McGrady that was choking you? What was that again? That was choking you. One of the uh, oh, video. That, that was Richard Dent. Richard Dent of oh, okay. the Bears. You remember okay. the Roll Shuffle, that whole era. Yeah, that yeah. So Richard Dent uh, kind of surprised me with with the selfie where he just kind of grabbed me. Bring in our first guest, Mr. Michael Brodsky. This guy's amazing. He does a, a, a little bit of everything, and I don't understand how he breathes, but we'll find out today. Let's bring in Mr. Michael Brodsky. Let's bring him in. No soup for fecal vision. Absolutely. Uh oh, okay. Listen, I'm snitching. <laughs> Tell us I'm the snitching. truth. Tell us what's going on. I'm snitching. All right. <laughs> I'm not losing this. <laughs> okay, Leah, we'll see you in 25 years. Wow, Mr. Michael. How's everybody doing out there? Great. Good, good. Wow. good. That was some awesome. video. Thank you, Jess, for putting that together. That was, <laughs> that was wow. a nice combination. Like, do you yeah. want to tell us a little bit about that uh, folk bar? The what, intro and the outro. The intro and the outro. Yeah, I'll explain a little bit about what that was. The, the uh, there, there were a couple of elements that were from uh, Fuqua Vision. To give people a background on what Fu Fuqua Vision is, um, I had uh, I did my MBA at Duke University. Duke University's business school is called the Fuqua School of Business. And when I first got there, uh, signed up for a TV show that was called Fuqua Looks at Business. Um, as time was going by, I was asking about the show, and everybody said, "Well, you know, we we are tired of doing the show. We don't want to do it anymore. Uh, you know, we have no interest in doing a TV show about business." And so they said, if you want it, you can have it. They gave it to me. I took it over. I also found out that uh, nobody else wanted to work with me on that business show. But we found uh, that there, there was some interest in doing maybe like a sketch comedy show. And so we put that together. We called it Fuqua Vision. And um, uh, proud to say the show is still going strong uh, almost oh. 30 years later. April will be our 30th anniversary wow. episode coming up. That's kind wow. of wow. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's become kind of a differentiator for the business school, because if you think about business schools, uh, none of the other top business schools have anything quite like Fuqua Vision. So uh, this is right. something that, that sort of sets us apart. And every weekend or every uh, on the weekends when they have the students coming to visit, they make sure to show them an episode of Fuqua Vision. And it's kind of a good sales uh, tactic to get them in and get them excited cool. about doing something a little different. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And uh, some of the other things, I, I, that was uh, me throwing out a first pitch at a uh, Florida Fire Frogs game. That was kind of exciting. Uh, just yeah. happy to Baba buoy it or, uh, you know, do anything crazy there. Fauci, you know, I guess he had a, a rough first pitch. Mine at least got to the catch. Uh, that, how, did you, were you nervous about throwing that, that baseball? Because, I mean. Um, <laughs> no, not really. No, not, not, not at all. I mean, I, I thought that was kind of, it was kind of cool. It was just one of those things to be able to say, yeah, I threw out a first pitch. I mean, yes, it's a minor yeah. league single A baseball game, but still it was pretty neat. And uh, a couple of other shots with some athletes there. If you look at my social media, you'll see, I know Rob knows, I'm yes. kind of, uh, sort of hanging out with a lot of different athletes from time to time. Uh, was that, was that Tracy McGrady that was choking you? What was that again? That was choking you. One of the, uh, oh, no, no, that... that was Richard Dent, Richard Dent of oh, okay. the Chicago Bears. Remember okay. the roll shuffle, that whole era? Yeah, yeah. So Richard Dent uh, kind of surprised me with, with the selfie where he just kind of grabbed me. He wasn't actually <laughs> choking me. I, I should make <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, You don't want to get him in trouble, but it looked, it looked real. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But, uh, oh, man. Yeah. So you, so, graduated, so you graduated from Yale. You, yeah. I mean, Duke. Yeah. Wow. Duke. I mean, yeah. And I mean, so, you, and you're, so you're like the president of the Ivy League. Um, association and all the stuff like yeah. is that. What, how do you how do you have time? You have all of these different organizations that you're involved with. Yeah, uh, the president of like you know. Tell us about a little bit of, about some of the organizations that you're involved with. 
Uh, sure. Uh, you mentioned uh, the All Ivy Club of Central Florida, the Yale Alumni Association of Central Florida. Uh, I'm also involved with uh, World Sports Alumni. I'm business board of directors. Um, involved with, I'm, I'm the president of the Jewish Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'm also oh, the wow. vice chairman of the board for the Mustard Seed of Central Florida. And I, I want to thank uh, Rob and Jess because I know they've helped with uh, a fashion show that we had done maybe yes. five years back, raise some funds for the, for the Mustard Seed. We appreciate that. Yeah, and we, had a, we have a great story about that. That's a, that's a, a perfect segue. Let's, 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 uh, let's, let's dig into this because uh, JoJo O'Neill was a part of that as well. Yes, JoJo hosted that as well, absolutely. That's yeah, let's, let's check out some footage. Ah. It's JoJo from Star 94.5. I'm excited to be here tonight. A fierce entertainment presentation of a fashion show. Fashion speeded with compassion, benefiting the mustard seed of Central Florida. I'm excited to be here. But tonight, it's all about the mustard seed and this wonderful organization. So welcome, everyone. Enjoy. Wow. That's great. Wow. Yeah, so that, was, that was a good time. That was a good time. Thank you for... The mustard seed is, I should explain, it's a furniture and clothing bank, great local charity. Um, so uh, visit uh, mustardseedfla.org if you'd like to learn more. Mustardseedfla.org. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I'm going to try to get that up there. What was that again? It was a little copy. Wasn't that clothing, oh, yep. wasn't that clothing that was modeled that night? Wasn't that a oh, that's right. The, from the, the mustard the, seed yes, thank you. Thank you, Jojo. The, the, the clothing that was modeled that night actually did come from our clothing bank side mm -hmm. uh, on that mustard seed. So, right. There, some, yeah. there were some of the uh, designers that went through. Uh, the clothing that we had on site, and they actually created some fashions using that uh, uh, pre-owned clothing, and made some great little, great little items there. Nice. Yeah. Jessica and I were part of that nice. project, and we did visit the mustard seed and and check them out yeah. and checked out the clothes. Yeah. So they they do a lot of good for the community, definitely, and they have a, a lot of great inventory too. So people should check them out. Yeah. yeah, and so Jojo, you you weren't um, dressed by the mustard seed, but you were wearing um, something a little classy. What were you wearing that night? Let's shout out your your dress, your um, extremely classy. Your stylist. It's the same thing I'm wearing tonight, uh, representing Classic Couture Fashions, twelve oh nine Saxon Boulevard, Suite Nine, Orange City. Thank you, Kelly yes. Hyde Russell. <laughs> 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 yes. Wow, yes, they take care of you. I met her at a yes. event. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we um, that's what it's all about, you know, um, connecting people. Um, so, Michael, I wanted to ask you about the World Sports Alumni. Yes. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about that, because we have an athlete, a, a former athlete that's coming up right after you, Mr. Right. Devin. And, right. um, you know, so, um, and I looked at the website, it's like for pro not just professional athletes, which Devin yeah. was, but, you know, amateur athletes. So tell us a little bit about that, because I, I played um, Pee Wee uh, baseball. So well, I you can be a number two then, absolutely. We're all sports <laughs> one night. Is uh, it's a, it's an association of former professional athletes. Mm. Uh, so if you visit our website, and it's just WorldSportsAlumni.com is the website, and you can check out some of the members. We've got, uh, for example, in basketball. Um, We've got Nick Anderson, Jason Williams. For football, we've got Brandon Merriweather, Santana Moss. We've got Otis Anderson and Rodney Hampton. Uh, for boxing, we've got, we've got former heavyweight champions, Pinklin Thomas and Riddick Bowe. Uh, for wow. baseball, we've got the Weeks brothers, Ricky and Jam Jamile. Um, but it's a great organization. And for anybody who is either a former professional athlete, like our next guest coming up, or for anybody who is just interested in sports. Uh, we're, what we're trying to do really is connect the business community with the sports community. You know, for a lot of the athletes, once they're no longer on the field, sometimes right. it seems to kind of fade fade into uh, the sunset and people kind of forget about these athletes sometimes. And 
uh, you know, what we try to do is sort of keep promoting them and, and keep them in front of the public eye. Uh, we have a lot of, before this pandemic, we had a lot of different events where we would have a lot of people gathering together to meet some of these athletes, interact with the athletes. And it's a great way for companies to market their products, to market their services. So we have a lot of companies that want to sponsor uh, nice. our events. Um, and so uh, uh, one of the other things we'll be talking about will be, uh, uh, I know that we'll be talking about what, a book project coming up. And, yes. Uh, uh, I haven't haven't talked about that about yeah. yet. But we'll get to it shortly. You have some uh, great news coming up, right? About your book coming up because I should point out for those I don't think we mentioned yet, but my, I'll mention my first book. Might as well yes. tease this: "Incremental Improvements: Change Your Life One Small Step at a Time," which yes. was uh, number one on Amazon's personal transformation list. So uh, wow. uh, it's a great little self help wow. improvement book. We'll plug that. And by the way, if anybody is interested in the book, yes, it's available at Amazon, Barnes and Noble. But more importantly, for all of you, are your viewers out there, uh -huh. uh, I'm offering you can download a free PDF version of this of this book right here. If you go to my uh -huh. website, incrementalimprovements.com, incrementalimprovements.com, you can download it for free. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, yes. So if I download it for free, are you going to be mad? Because I told you I was going to buy one, but. <laughs> Well, you Rob, just gave me the hookup. Rob, I, I, did I never give you? A, I thought I gave you a book at some point. Maybe not. I owe you a book. Yeah, I think I was, yeah, autograph, please. Uh, autograph book. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's cool. See how that, see that works? Sometimes you got to ask, right, Jojo? You just got to ask people. You, you, got, know. It. you got it. I know because you promised you were going to read it. You said you were going to read I it. I, 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 I didn't forget. I am going to read it. How many pages into, into the book are you so far now? No, I don't, I don't have. Oh, yeah. I don't have the book okay, yet. Okay, all right. That's all why right. I said I have to get the book <laughs> so that I can read the book. Got it. Got yeah. it. Okay. And right. I will read there's it. There's a I segment, right. though. We'll, we'll, I we'll, noticed we'll, there's a segment out. I want to check out, especially with the COVID and, and things going wrong. Um, it the topic was how do you respond when things go wrong? So, you know, even with events and shows, yes. things always yeah. go wrong. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I need some guidance on how to handle. Well, I, I think that's. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say World Sports Alumni, and uh, the first book in what will probably be a series of World Sports Alumni autobiographies coming out in the near future is Fourth Down and Dam, a lineman story, the autobiography of Leon Searcy. Nice. Mike Brodsky. Oh. Fourth Down and Dam, a lineman story. Leon Searcy, for those who, do, who may, may not know Leon Searcy, he was a former first-round draft pick. Uh, by the Pittsburgh Steelers back in uh, 1992. Uh, played with the Miami Hurricanes, won three national championships with them, played in Super Bowl 30. Uh, and it's a, a fascinating story of his, uh, uh, of his rise through the NFL, becoming the highest uh, paid offensive lineman in the NFL, and then coming out of the league uh, basically uh, broke. But, uh, and then how did he get back, uh, back on track? So it's really a fascinating story. Hopefully folks will Check it out. Be on the lookout. It's, we haven't announced the official launch date yet, but this is the mock-up of the cover. You can kind of see there. Nice. Yeah. Book coming out soon. Wow. Thanks for watching. You can catch us live every Friday at 6 o'clock. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay fierce.